Hey, it's Karen Bryant for MMA Heat, and I've got Jay Haran here with me. And uh, Jay, I first want to say thank you, and secondly, I've got to say I'm sorry. I swear you're the first person I thought of when I heard Dana canceled UFC 151. So can you just talk to us about uh, how you found out? Uh, yeah, I just finished training this morning. I came home, was relaxing, um, got the call from my manager. He said uh, Henderson got hurt, um, waiting on details. Calls back a little while later. It says Dana canceled the whole show. So, unbelievable. You no, know, for me, I was a little numb. Uh, I didn't really. I was like, "Are you serious?" I'd never heard of UFC canceling any show. And then I read up on it, and I, you know, looked into it a little more. And yeah, you know, the car got canceled. You know, it's crazy. And I have so many questions, but one of them, of course, what a lot of people are wondering: Do you get any sort of paycheck now at all? I haven't heard that anything about that. I mean, um, I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. Uh, we'll see. I mean, you know, I know UFC always takes care of their fighters. Right. Um, I know right. Dana was really pushing for the card to go on too, because you know, of course, you know, uh, a lot of fighters that were on the card, you know, if they don't fight, they don't they don't get paid. So then, how long was it before? You found out that you and Jake would move to the UFC on Fox on uh, FX card. Uh, I don't know exactly what time, but my manager called me. Said October fifth. Uh, Jake Ellenberger, you know, it's all good, man. Um, um, you know, I look at the positives of the situation. I got more time to train. Still got the contract with UFC. You know. For me, I don't want to say it's a good thing, but I've been through a lot in my career, a lot of ups and downs. I've been through this situation before with a week out from a show and it gets canceled with affliction. So, you know, I kind of take it like a grain of salt, man. You know, I got to just keep moving forward. I don't know why, you know. <laughs> and then they said, is there a curse on you? It's like 151 shows and the one I'm a part of, now it happens. I'm like, I don't I don't think it's that bad. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of, you know, it's the circumstances. It's the, it's the hurt business, you know. Inside, outside the cage, it's rough. You know, it's just how much can you deal with and, and keep moving forward and just keep your mind focused and, you know, stay mentally tough through all this stuff. But it's true. I I just can't believe the ups and downs you've had, more so than I think 99% of the guys fighting these days. But, I, you know. Yeah, that's one thing that keeps me going. I still got that drive. I still got that yeah. fire in me. Yeah. Um, I still love what I do. Uh, for me personally, yeah, I've been through a lot of ups and downs, I think. But for the majority, I've been through a lot more ups and downs. You know, I, the fighting, you know, besides money and everything else, it made me change my life for the better. And, you know, did that for me. I, I make a great, honest living. I've traveled the world. So, I mean, you know, I kind of always try to look at the positive things of it. And, again, this is another situation. It's out of my control why am I going to stress? I can't, you know what I mean? Because it, it's nothing I could do to change this situation. Nothing any fighter on the card can do right now to change the situation. So, so I mean, you know, whatever. It's another drop in the bucket. I'll be back in the gym training hard. And, um, you know, that just gives me more time to have a great fight on um, October 5th. I have a lot of questions, but yeah, how does that affect your training obviously you 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 know you were ready to peak at a very specific time and now you need to extend that that timeline so what happens for you physically do you you know do you do you relax put on put on some more weight again and then cut it off or you know how do you do it yeah you know just take a step back unwind my mind relax you know what i mean because i'm fight ready mentally mentally ready physically ready you know you got to pull back if i keep going at this you know what i mean at this speed, I, I will overtrain. So I'm, I'm kind of, um, you know, I've been in the game a while, so I know my body, and um, I got a lot of great people around me. So pull back a little bit, get back in the gym, and then, um, you know, peak all over again come October 5th. You know, it's a shame I was, I was ready to go. Uh, come next Saturday, you know, it would have been a great night for me. And um, you know, I know Jake was in great shape too. You know, I know he's probably been pushing too, and um, you know, just a shame that it's not going to happen. But you know, still got another another date, and you know, it's just a little bit one month longer. That's all I got to wait. Yeah. How, how do you see the matchup with 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 Jake? Obviously, he's looking for revenge. <laughs> how do you think you guys have, have changed skill set wise? 
Um, hey, I think, uh, you know, he's a tough guy. I think he was a t tough guy the first time I fought him. He was undefeated. Um, he's a gunslinger. You know, Jake likes to come out and, um, you know, swing. And, um, you know, I'm a sharpshooter. So when he starts pulling them triggers, I'm going to be there to, to, to sharpshoot and, and find the find the target. Right, great. You know, I'm going to pause here for a second because you got a little blurry. I'm going to see if we can, if you clear up a little. But um, I guess lastly, my question for you is, how do you feel about John Jones right now? Because had he taken the fight with Chael, he'd be working <laughs> next week, have that guaranteed paycheck. Uh, that's the question of the day I've been asked all day long. I mean, for me, John Jones is John Jones. I'm not, I don't know what's in his mind. I don't know what he does. I'm focused on what I got to do in my career, and, and um, you know, I could only speak from my perspective. If I was, the, if that was, you know, if I was in the shoes and that was me, and they were presenting that fight with me, I would have fought. But you know, I don't know. I can't say what he feels or, or why he did what he did. You know, he has his own reasons. But uh, for me, I would have fought. I fought. You know, my last fight, I trained eight weeks for a South for five days before the fight. The guy got injured, and I had a you know, a righty in front of me, which I didn't train for, but, you know, I'm a fighter. I, I At the end of the day, I, I want to get in there and, um, and mix it up. You know, not only is this our job, you know, a lot of us love to do what we do, got, what we do and that's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is to get in there and fight. You know, that's what we really want to do. And, you know, so for me, if it was, if, if it was me, I would have fought. I, I lied. That was not my last question. I want to back it up because I actually didn't get to speak with you yet about since you got re-signed to the UFC. Was that something you were working on for a while actively or was that a call that you just got and, and were just saying, hell yeah? No, I mean, yeah, that was the, always the goal was, uh, you know, after I won the Bellator, that was the goal, go back to UFC. And, um, you know, uh, it was just timing thing, a timing, you know, when and where. I didn't know exactly when. It was just a timing thing. I got the call. Great. I was ready. Uh, uh, obviously, it's not happening next week. So, push back a little bit. Uh, you know, again, it is what it is. Let's 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 do it again. I, I, I'll be ready on fight night, October 5th. That's fine. We'll still get in there. We'll still do it. Well, I know you'll be ready, and you you know I'm a fan, Jay, so uh, even though it's just a little bit later now, I'm really looking forward to seeing you back in the octagon, and uh, I'm really sorry for this, you know, I, I I can't even imagine, but I know I know you're a strong man, and I know, you'll, I know you, will, uh, you will find the positive in this, so best of luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Bye. All right. Bye. All right, cool. So 